Oh, uh, down smash. Not able to get the ledge guard. Oh! underway here we've got Kyra Mithra from Castle versus Sonic's Sonic game one losers finals let's see how this rematch goes here and starting off on battlefield which uh not the stage I would have expected for game one from these two but maybe Sonic's is recognizing that you know the traditional spin dash and run tactics aren't working as well in this matchup and they actually need left face to prevent castle from setting up that wall and uh so far it seems to be working out i mean there's uh there's a little bit less space for pirate to get away with setting up the blazing end there but, you know, ultimately still enough space to get through. Castle going way deep with the uh, the Flame Nova there, but maybe a little too deep. Angie able, or Sonic's able to exploit that somewhat linear, somewhat predictable recovery from Pyra and find the first stock uh, while remaining pretty healthy. I think the stage choice here from Sonic's really working out well for them. Um, and we're now in this uh, traditional stalemate where Neither character really wants to approach, but the one who's not Sonic kind of has to, just purely by the uh, the spread of the stocks and percentages. Uh, Castle trying to find the right moment to go in, and Sonic's trying to bait something out, trying to find some kind of opening to punish. Maybe, you know, it was only a uncharged homing attack, but hey, that's a solid 15%. And then right back to the side of the stage there, Castle biding their time trying to find the mistake eventually sonics is gonna make a mistake and castle is looking for when that is gonna be trying to find the punish that's uh you know everyone makes mistakes doesn't matter how good of a player you are everyone makes a mistake at some point if you can just buy time wait for that mistake to happen you can find yourself an opening find yourself an advantage but Sonic's instead able to set up another Savage combo there. Those openings into the launcher that just sends Castle up that high, it, the, the threat of that back air at that point is so terrifying. Sonic's can do so much with that. Big dash to get in and just nailing combo after combo here. Yeah, the reduced stage space is really working against all well, the foresight, but no punish, no follow up. Railing out the side B, though, to apply pressure, stop the spin dash. That is something to consider. You know, Pyra may be able to speed trap the spin dash with her side B, with the blazing end. But Mithra can also, in a sense, do that as well. It's a little bit more committal because you have to kind of, you know, run your face forward with that side B. Uh, you kind of got to move forward with it, and it's not super great on shield if you get shielded. But you do get damage, you do get that momentum. Yeah, that's what we were talking about, though. It being a little more committal than Pyra's right there was the problem. Sonic's able to punish that out of shield with the forward smash on the other side to take game one. Yeah, I think that uh, I think that stage selection did not work out super great in Castle's favor there. Uh, the smaller stage space just counterintuitively. You know, you would think you would want smaller stages to deal with Sonic. But in this particular matchup, it feels like the smaller stage space just meant there was less way to safely set up the Blazing End as a wall to test Sonic's reflexes and discourage or shut down the Spin Dash. So we'll have to see what we end up on, on state on game two. I don't predict that we're gonna go back to Battlefield. Probably going somewhere a little bit different here for game two. Oh, but we are still going to a small stage, going to Yoshi's instead. Sir, that's uh, definitely not what I predicted here. 
a little bit of a lag spike there, but it's okay, folks. We are still good to go. And Sonics is just applying so much pressure right now. Castle will maybe get a little flustered here, having trouble getting anything in edgewise in this neutral. Oh, a solid down air, though. Hey, I'll set you for a jab combo. A solid 41% off of that. Now you can try to keep Sonics here on the ledge. This is where Castle was finding their wins earlier on in the night. Oh, no, the air dodge out just in time. That could have been a massive kill setup and a massive momentum swing there for Castle. But Sonics able to survive, able to make it back. Prominence Revolt going to take Castle up to the top platform. Not going to connect. And... Sonic's really navigating well around this, uh, the prominence or the blazing end here. Another spike, another aerial, it doesn't connect, but the follow up does. And Castle still gets that early stock, still gets that lead that they were looking for. This is exactly where Castle wants to be in this matchup, somewhere where they're able to force Sonic's to be the one aggressing. But above them is maybe not the place. Up air, spring up air. Is going to even the stocks back up in a jiffy. And we're back to the same situation where Sonics gets to control the pace of the game with their higher movement speed. And Castle now back to this patient waiting game, taking their time, trying to find the right moment, the right opening. The uh, foot stool there, providing quite a bit of... Uh, pressure on the ledge, but Sonic's able to navigate around, get back onto stage. Sometimes though, you know, a, a lot of what Castle is getting here is capitalizing on, you know, the occasional whiff, the occasional over aggression from Sonic's there. You know, you, you can afford to whiff quite a few down airs if you're not getting punished for it, and one of them is connecting, because you get so much off of that down air connect that there's, uh, you know, it, it ends up being worth it in the long run. But, you know, that's only if they are connecting, which is something Sonics is getting a little bit better about. Sonics is getting faster and faster about not letting those downers connect. Also, finding punishes on the back end. Sonics going way out, punishing the high recovery with the forward air. And now it's Sonics with the one stock lead uh, and with quite a bit more health than uh, Pyra, than Castle had a little bit earlier on here trading with the down air but forward smash not going to connect sonic's finding these up air chains off of these triplats castle once again biding time trying to find the way in stuck up on this platform for a moment but sonic's doesn't really try to contest their way back down just comfortable playing this neutral another spike but no confirm off of it castle once again has the ledge ready for the homing attack this time but Sonic's still slipping by with a forward air. Sonic's is just playing incredibly, incredibly slippery. And Castle at this point is throwing out down air after down air on stage. But hey, you know, it, it worked out. The mix up by weaving in the up tilt there at the end of it was enough that it caught Sonics when they were trying to go high to navigate around that. And you know, that's, uh, that will take a stock. If that's how you have to get it, you know, if, if that's conditioning. Unfortunately, not conditioning enough. Sonics finding the spin dash to keep Pyro off stage into the forward air. Game two, gonna go to Sonics as well. Gotta wonder if the, uh, if the stage change is going to happen here. I don't think these triplats are working out. And it is once again Castle's stage choice here. So you have to wonder if it's going to be another go round on the triplats or if we're going to go back to something a little more traditional like PS2. But it certainly does seem, you know, I could see where the decision making would be, where you would think, okay, yeah, like less space for Sonic to run away. Perfect. But it's just not working out as clean as their previous uh, previous set up in winner's uh, semifinals. All right, here we are, game three. Oh, we got the taunts coming out to play too. Look at that. Castle though, ultimately keeping cool, finding the first hit of the game out of those uh, out of that taunt fest. 
and applying pressure. This time, you know, the spacing was perfect to set up another trap there with the blazing end. Oh, and then setting up perfectly with the footstool into the forward smash, catching on to Sonics' options there. Castle able to, you know, get an edge here in this game. Having a lead in this loser's final set for the first time here. But needs to get off these platforms because Sonic is just getting constant shark up airs. And uh, just applying that pressure. Oh. Castle now way off stage. Oh, maybe gonna need to switch. Not gonna happen. Air dodge instead right into the Sonic forward air there. And just like that, Sonic's, you know, was down by quite a bit there. A full stock, but kept full. Played the edge guard situation well and ended up right back on top, at least for a moment. But Castle still putting a lot of pressure with the fire there. Oh, trying once again for the down smash or down air into the full smash combo. Sonic's not falling for it here. Sonic's uh, just trying to play safe. I mean, it has little stage space to work with at times, but he's using every inch of that stage space available to get more and more damage. Catching the grab on the neutral getup as well. Right back out there, another forward air on another high recovery. And now Sonic's in the lead stockwise one more time. Now playing that speed, that movement speed out. Blazing End, though, is going to shut that down. Oh, just threw it out there way off stage, but because there was no floor under it, Sonix was able to wiggle out. Doesn't die there. And is able to get back on stage and continue playing this game plan out. Continue playing out this neutral on the ledge. Oh. Homing attack. Just little bits of pressure. Blazing End going to work against Castle there. Castle may be moving in a little bit too quick. Going real, real low there to deal with the spring, but one good forward tilt catches Sonic's being a little too aggressive. Castle has a chance here. Needs to try to find some way to even this game back out or find this stock early. This is their loser's finals on the line here. They win this, and they stay in the set. They lose this, that's it. Third place. Which, you know, not bad, all things considered, but not as good as second place. Oh no, just a little bit mispositioned there on the spring from Sonic that did allow Castle back onto the stage. Castle now just trying to find one more good hit that can set up a kill and really utilizing those platforms to full advantage to threaten Castle's movement there. This stage does have a very low ceiling, so those up airs are absolutely a kill threat when you're that high up. Rolling back this time, catching the grab, Castle navigating through the rock, paper, scissors situation that is the blazing revolt or blazing end on shield. That back throw nearly lethal. The spring, though, probably gonna do it. So, oh, no. No, okay, I was about to say if the if the prominence revolt turned around and stocked Sonic's first there, that was gonna be just criminal.